we're going to be opening the shoulders, opening the spine with some nice back bends and forward folds. So to begin with, I'm going to do a variation of sun breath just to really begin to start to tune into our bodies, to focus on the here and now. So the more mindful our practice is, the better quality it is. So it doesn't matter how flexible you are or how strong you are. What really is important to create a, an intelligent and um, really worthwhile, good quality yoga practice, it's simply to have an awareness of how you feel in the here and now and the breath. That's always our ideal starting point. So let's take a moment. If you want to set an intention for your practice, maybe an emotion, a feeling, an energy that you want to cultivate in your life, you can do so now. Or simply relax the face. Observe the body standing here. Connect with the feet, grounding down into the mat, tailbones tucked core slightly engaged and begin to cultivate your ujjayi breath, inhaling, slight restriction at the back of the throat, exhale, maintaining that restriction. So it's an ocean-like sound or a dark Vader-like sound. Relax the shoulders. Nothing to do, nowhere to go. Inhale, circle the palms. Exhale, palms to touch. Inhale, look up, gaze up, reach up. Exhale, flex the hands, extend the arms, push the imaginary walls away. Fully exhale. Inhale, circle the hands. Exhale, palms to touch. Inhale, gaze up, look up, reach up, exhale, arms extended, hands flexed. You get that nice stretch down the arms. Inhale, circle the hands, exhale, palms to touch. Inhale, reach up, look up, exhaling, releasing down. Let's do the next two in silence so you can really and truly focus on every sensation in the body. So inhaling, Exhale, palms to touch. Pause here in stillness, reconnect with the body. Feel the palms of the hands and any sensations there. Feel the shoulders, how do they feel today? Is there any tension there? If so, nice big deep inhale. Exhale. Okay, so for this next bit, you're gonna need a scarf or a belt or a block even, actually no not a block, a scarf or a belt will do, um, they don't have to be one of these you know proper yoga belts, it can be a tie or just anything that you can um, stretch out that is shoulder distance apart. So we're going to inhale, reach up, create some tension there on the belt by pulling the hands apart and then as you exhale drop the shoulder blades down the back and as you inhale reach up pull the belt apart and exhale draw those shoulder blades down the back so we're creating a little tug of war here between the hands and the shoulder blades staying here relax in the face tailbone tucked core engaged breathe for five Four, last breath, and five, 
exhale, slowly bring it down. You might feel some tingling in the shoulders there and really nice deep tension release. Amazing. Okay, so now take the belt slightly wider. Inhale, reach up. Stretch up, exhale, drop the shoulder blades down the back and then reaching up with the right hand, draw that left hand down and back, breathe. One. Two, as you inhale, keep actively reaching up through the right hand and as you exhale, drawing down with the left, four. And five, coming through to centre. Inhale, stretch that belt apart. Exhale, drop the shoulder blades down and back. Inhale, take the hands back just an inch, pausing here. We're not coming all the way down. We're finding that point of tension and just squeezing it. Exhale, release. Inhale, reach up actively through the left arm as you exhale and draw that right hand down and back. Inhaling, reaching up. Exhale, drawing the right hand down and back. One, two, three, four, and five. Release. Lovely. Now, let go of your belt now. Set that aside, and we're going to come to the front of the mat. Inhale, palms touch. Exhale, relax the shoulders down. Inhale, reach the palms up. Exhale, hands through heart center. Fold, bend the knees here. If that feels good for you, exhale, just hanging out here for three breaths. Inhale, suck the abdominals in and up. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale, releasing tension in the lower back. Last breath. Inhale, deeply create space on the inhale. As you exhale, relax, melt down a little bit deeper. Now, come up onto the fingertips and inhale, just a gentle twist around to the left. Exhale, centre. Inhale, gentle twist over to the right. Exhale, centre. Let's repeat that. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, extend the torso, lengthen. Exhale, step, hop, or jump the feet back. Inhale, come into plank. And then everyone drop the knees. Inhaling here, and then exhale, really actively squeeze those elbows in towards the body as you drop the chest and the chin down. Keep those elbows squeezing in. And then inhale, coming all the way up. Baby Cobra. So actively press the palms down. Draw the palms towards you. Squeeze those shoulders down and back. Tuck the chin slightly. Take a breath here. Squeeze the legs together. Last breath. Exhale, take it back, downward facing dog, three breaths in, inhale, push the mat away with the hands, exhale, push back through the legs, two more breaths, gaze to the navel, Lovely. Inhale, lift the right foot. Then exhale, step the foot between the hands. Drop the back left heel. Inhale, come up into your warrior one. And then exhale, place the right elbow on top of the left. Garudasana arms, eagle arms. Square those hips to the front of the mat. 
Inhale, reach the palms, the fingertips up towards the ceiling. As you exhale and draw the shoulder blade down the back, keep pushing through the knife edge of that left foot. Breathe. Keep drawing those shoulders down, last breath. Exhale and fold forward. Just hang here. Inhale, breathe into the space in between the shoulder blades. Then exhale. You can always use a block here if the hand doesn't come all the way down. That's absolutely fine. Then inhale, reach up with the left hand, exhale. So what we're gonna do here is press, if the fingertips are on the floor, they're only resting there very, very gently. If you prefer, you can bring the hands up a little bit so there's no contact with the mat, so you know that you're really working on lifting those hips up, the core's engaged, and you're opening the chest here. Inhale, reach up. Breathe for two more breaths. Exhale, either releasing or if you want to work a little bit deeper, if you're binding, you can take that right hand underneath, take the left hand back, aiming to clasp the hands here. If they don't clasp, just have that intention, see how it feels, breathe, open up. back to meet the left. Inhale in plank. Exhale, drop the knees, chest and chin, squeezing the elbows in. Inhale, coming up into cobra. Squeeze the legs together, reach the heart forward. Draw the shoulder blades down the back. Pull those hands towards you. Look up this time. Exhale, take it back. Downward dog, three breaths. Scan the body, connect with the fingertips of the hands, pressing down actively. Feel the length of the arms, shoulder blades away from ears. Inhale, suck the abdominals in. Exhale, tailbone tuck, push the legs away. Last breath. Inhale, lift the left foot this time. Exhale, step it forward between the hands, drop the right heel. Inhale, coming up, square the hips. Then exhale, take the left elbow on top of the right. Bring the palms to touch. Inhale, reach the fingers high. Exhale, draw the shoulder blades down and back, breathing here. Pause, engage, lifting up on the banders. Then exhale, just falling forward. It's okay if you only come down a few inches. Just come to where it feels good for you and inhale, breathe into that space in between the shoulder blades. Last breath. Then exhale, opening up again. If you want to use blocks or cushions, you can bring the hand to the floor or have the fingertips slightly lifted. As you inhale, open up. Open that chest. Make sure that that left knee is tracking towards the left little toe. Tuck that tailbone in. Inhale, suck the abdominals in and up. Last breath here. Exhale, take that left hand under, 
option here to clasp the hands, draw that right shoulder blade on the back, breathe. Come into plank, inhale, straight and strong. Exhale, drop the knees, squeeze the elbows in. Inhale, cobra. Starting to feel more open in the chest here. Exhale, Adam or Kashavasana, downward facing dog. Just walk the feet out here. Bend the right knee and gaze under. The left armpit, inhaling centre, exhale, twisting round to the opposite side, loosening off that lower back, breathing. Nice fluid movement, the face is relaxed. So whenever we're challenging ourselves in these poses and we're finding our edge and we're working hard, we're still maintaining a nice, relaxed, and positive attitude. Yoga is not about the end result, about the shape that you're making, it's about the intention with which you're working. So, let's do a little camel pose now. Don't worry if you're not coming all the way back and clasping the feet, that's absolutely fine. Take a moment, tuck that tailbone down, really engage the core, and you can just take the palms of the hands to the jeans pocket. Inhale, draw those elbows together so we're opening the chest here. Then exhale, push those hips forward. You can tuck the chin if you've got any neck issues and you can stay here and breathe. You're receiving all the benefit. We can exhale and take it a little bit deeper. If the option's there for you, eventually clasping the heels. Inhale, push those hips forward. Exhale, squeeze the shoulder blades together. Option to release the head, breathe. Engage the core. Inhale, coming up. Exhale, toes to touch, knees mat distance apart, folding forward. Extend the fingertips out in front of you. Reach the fingertips forward, press the palms down actively into the mat. And it feels as though you're trying to pull yourself forward. At the same time, push the bum down, releasing the shoulders, breathe here. Elbows stay off the mat. Exhale, inhale, come back into our plank, straight and strong, puff up that space in between the shoulder blades, take the shoulder blades onto the back, inhale, exhale, drop the knees, squeeze the elbows coming down, inhaling cobra, breathe. Exhale, take it back one breath here in our downward dog, inhale, exhale, inhale, lift that right foot and then exhale, step it between the hands. Slightly shorter stance here, as we inhale we're going to come up into our trikonasana, our triangle pose. So let's just check our alignment, heels are in a line, left toes slightly brought in towards the body 45 degrees. Inhale, open across the chest, tuck that tailbone down, hips are nice in one line. Then exhale, take that right hand down. Just come down halfway, don't come to your maximum, don't compromise the pose and drop that left hip. 
Just come down to that first edge. Breathe. So we're keeping nice and open across the chest, lengthening the waist, tucking that tailbone down, keep drawing that left hip open. Now inhale, reach over, really lengthen through that sideways, wake up. Then exhale, take that left hand behind you, it can rest on the lower back, or if the option is there, clasp the right upper thigh. And inhale, open that left shoulder, gazing up, breathe. Option to bend the right knee. Just begin to play with your balance here. You can take the right fingertips down. So this is bound half moon pose. If this is where you are today, this is absolutely fine. If you want to just sit on the mat and breathe, that's okay. If the balance is there, come up, open that left hip up. Take the gaze up, tuck the tailbone. Don't worry about falling out of this pose, we all do, breathe. Soften the face, let any tension go. Remember it's not about the end goal, it's about your intention along the way. It's about the energy and the attitude that you cultivate on your mat. Meeting challenges with positivity, with openness, with love for yourself. Don't beat yourself up. Exhale, bring that foot down. Ah, nice. We'll do the same thing on the opposite side now. So open the left foot to the left, right toes drawing in, tailbone tucked down, core engaged, hips nice and square, inhale, lengthen. Exhale, take it down. Again, we're not coming all the way down here, we're not compromising. We're really drawing that right hip back, tailbones tucked nice and open in the hips, open in the chest. Reach up with that right hand. Exhale then, inhale, reach over, lengthen that side waist. Exhale, option now to take that right hand behind you. Aiming to clasp, but it's okay if it doesn't come to there, the upper left thigh. Inhale, open the chest. Keep tucking that tailbone down, keep sucking the abdominals in and up. Last breath. Then exhale, take those left fingertips down, begin to play here with bound half moon pose. If the balance is there on this side, begin to open up. We all have a side that's stronger than the, the other. This is my slightly weaker side, breathe. Connect with the core, relax the face. Make sure you're breathing here. Exhale, coming down with as much control as possible. Inhale, open the hands. Toes facing forward or slightly drawn in. Inhale, hands to hips, lengthen the spine. Exhale, folding forward, release here. Don't force yourself to your maximum position yet. Take a moment to take a deep, take a moment to take, take a moment to breathe deeply into that lower back. Inhale, create space. Exhale, releasing tension. One more nice, easy, deep breath. Inhale. Exhale, set the hands in between the feet. Shoulder width apart, draw the elbows towards each other. Take two breaths here. Inhale now, and take the right hand towards the left ankle. Inhale, reach the left hand up, 
option to clasp the upper right thigh, exhale, take one more breath here and release, same thing, second side, inhale, exhale, clasp, inhale, draw that right shoulder down and back, exhale, release, hands to hips, inhale, coming all the way up, exhale, take those hands down, step the right foot back to meet the left, inhale, in plank, Exhale, knees, chest, chin. Inhale, cobra, one breath. Exhale, downward dog, one breath. Inhale, lift the left foot this time. Exhale, step the foot between the hands, drop the right heel. Inhale, coming up. Exhale, hands to hips, square the hips off. Reverse triangle now. So we're gonna inhale, reach up high with the right hand. Place the palm of the left hand on the lower back. Exhale here, then inhale, reach, stretch forward, lengthen. Exhale, right hand to the thigh, to the calf, to a block or to the floor. Draw that left hip back, inhale, open the chest. Exhale, draw the left shoulder blade down the back. Breathe here, connect with your body, relax the face. Last breath, squeeze that shoulder blade. Exhale. Ah, release. Inhale, engage the core, coming up. Revolving round to the opposite side. Right palm on the back, inhale, reach up with the left hand. Exhale, square the hips. Inhale, reaching forward, lengthen the torso. Exhale, inhale, draw that right shoulder blade on the back. Five breaths, draw the right hip back, breathe. And release. Inhale, coming up. Exhale. Come onto the knees and make your way all the way down onto your mat for bow pose. So, let's prepare for bow pose by taking the elbows underneath the shoulders, pressing the palms down into the mat, and inhale, just open the chest here. One more breath. Lift the feet. See how that feels? You can always stay here. Or reach back for the feet. Flex the feet first. See how that feels? You can always stay here. Or option to inhale, lift up. As you inhale, come up a little bit higher. As you exhale, let it go. And release, well done. Push back into a wide-legged forward fold. Walk the hands forward, press the palms down. Keep the elbows lifted. Release the head to the mat. Breathe deeply. And then exhale, cross the feet. Extend the legs, Papashimottanasana. This is our final pose. You can either keep the toes flexed, keep energy through the legs by pressing down actively into the mat with the legs, or you can let them flop out and we can take a nice passive Paschimottanasana, it's up to you. 
Inhale, reach the hands up, look up, engage the core. Exhale, coming forward. Inhale, lengthen, reach the heart towards the toes. Find that point of resistance and then it's up to you. You can stay nice and engaged in the legs or you can turn the palms up and just breathe here for 10 breaths. Maybe close the eyes and use this as an opportunity to scan the body. See how you feel now at the end of your practice. Observe any points of tension created in this pose and inhale, breathe deeply into them. As you inhale and as you exhale, allow the body to melt down a little bit deeper. Keep bringing your attention back to the breath. If the mind wonders, that's okay. But let's try and discipline the mind here. Maintaining your focus on the breath is a great way to give your brain a rest all day. We're thinking about so many different thoughts and have so many different worries and concerns. But spending just a minute or two a day really focusing in on nothing but the breath gives you a much needed break. Few more breaths here. Last breath. Inhale, slowly coming up, rolling up one vertebra at a time. A little counter pose, draw the fingers a few inches behind the buttocks, draw the elbows down and back towards each other, inhale, lift the chest, exhale, option to drop the head, breathe, inhale, and then exhale, coming all the way down onto your mat for your shavasana. So it's really important at the end of your practice to take the time to have, even if it's only a brief shavasana, have a shavasana. Your body's worked really hard. So it's a great way to allow the body to absorb all the benefits of your practice. Also allow yourself that time to still the mind, to really focus and tune in on your body. We kind of feel like our body now is just something to transport our brain around in. But um, yeah, it's important to connect with the body and, and see what it has to tell you. How are you feeling now at the end of your practice? Are there any points of tension? Are you feeling more relaxed? What's the energy like? How are you feeling emotionally? So just take this time to connect with you. Maybe allow a gentle smile to come across the face. Relax the feet. Let the legs become heavy. Inhale, breathe deeply into the belly. And as you exhale, relax the belly fully. Inhale and breathe deeply into the chest. And as you exhale, allow the shoulders to melt down a little bit more. Feel the weight of your head on the mat. Feel the space at the back of the neck. Relax the neck. Trace the length of your spine and allow the entire back to melt into the mat a little bit deeper. Hips are heavy. Relax the right arm. Right hand is heavy. Relax the left arm. The left hand is heavy. Inhale and breathe into that space in between the eyebrows. Exhale, relax the forehead. Relax the cheeks and the lips. Soften the eyes. Stillness. breath, ease of being, whole 
body connected and relaxed, minds at peace. Thank you so much for joining me today.